The 1,000 pound weight is supported by the smooth inclined plane at point C and by a spring connected to end B of the horizontal rod. Find both the force and the stretch in the spring. From the figure, we also have the spring constant. K is 400 pounds per foot. We have the angle of the inclined plane, 50 degrees. We also have the distance from A to B, 2 feet, and A to C, 5 feet. I have set up my engineering paper with the given and find information. The next thing I'm going to do is draw my free body diagram. Okay, I've got a free body diagram drawn for the mass. You can see three forces acting. There's its own self-weight, 1,000 pounds, acting vertically downward. Then there's force BC, which represents the spring here. It's pulling in tension. And I also have the normal force, because we're being supported on the inclined plane. And the direction of that normal force is perpendicular to the surface. It's going to be oriented at 50 degrees from the vertical. Now the orientation of force BC I've shown from the horizontal, and I'm not really sure what that is. I know that we've got the inclined plane acting at 50 degrees, so I'm going to call this angle between the spring and the inclined plane angle phi, and we're going to have to find that. We can find angle phi with trigonometry. Then we can write our two equilibrium equations to solve for normal force and force BC. Once we know force BC, we'll have half of what we're asked to find, and then we can use the spring constant to calculate the stretch in the spring. So let's find the angle phi. If we look at our given information, we've got a triangle from point A to point B, point B to point C, and then point C back to point A. It's not a right triangle, but we do have two sides, and since we know that AB is horizontal, then this angle here will be 50 degrees. So with two sides and an angle, we've got enough information to find the angle phi and the length of side BC. So I've drawn a triangle that represents the geometry in our problem. And I will need to find angle phi and L. And I'm going to use the law of cosines to find the length L. OK, I used the law of cosines to solve for my length L, since I had the other two sides and the angle 50 degrees opposite L. I get 4.018 feet. Now to find my angle phi, I'll use the law of sines. So using law of sines, I can take the sine of unknown angle phi over its opposite side 2, set it equal to the sine of 50 degrees over its opposite side L, 4.018. Solving for phi, I get 22.415 degrees. Now that I know my angle phi, I can go back to my free body diagram, and I can show the orientation of force BC relative to the horizontal. It's 72.415 degrees. Now I'll write my equations of equilibrium. Summing forces in the x direction, I have the horizontal component of force BC. It's going to the left, so I'll say that's negative. Its component is uh, force BC times the cosine of this angle here, plus the contribution in the x direction from the normal force pointing to the right times the sine of 50, given the way the angle is shown. Set it equal to zero, and I'll solve for FBC in terms of N and call that equation 1. Summing forces in the y direction, I get force BC's vertical component, which is FBC times the sine of 72.415 degrees, plus the component from the normal force, also pointing up, times the cosine of 50 degrees, and then minus the weight, 1,000 pounds, all equal to zero. So now I'll substitute equation 1 into equation 2 and solve for my normal force. I get that the normal force is equal to 314.16 pounds. And I'll substitute that into equation 1. And I can solve for force BC. 
it's equal to 796.6 pounds. That is the force in the spring. We were also asked to find the stretch in the spring. So using the force in the spring and the spring constant K equal to 400 pounds per feet, we can solve for the stretch. Here's the spring equation. Our force is going to be force BC. K is 400 pounds per feet. Delta is the stretch or the displacement of the spring. I'll rewrite it to solve for delta. And solving for delta, we get the stretch in the spring is 1.99 feet. And we're done.